venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Indianapolis Colts and the Chicago Bears. Here's the punter, Rigoberto Sanchez, on to get us started. And off we go from Soldier Field. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Field's going to throw right away. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Got to hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second and that long. And that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry, and it took what seemed like second and impossible. Now has him within throwing range of a first down. Dancing to his left. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. They snap it to Fields. Steps away. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. Well, CD, these two teams barely off the buses, and this defense already has a sack and now the interception and the pick six to take the lead. Partner, you have to think that this was part of their game plan coming in because they wanted to embrace an aggressive mindset and attack on defense. They were trying to force that quick miscue, and I would say their plan worked to perfection. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, it's Tristan Ebner from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Pick six last drive. Here's Fields again. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Brandon Faison. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Great, 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 great. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Again, it's Taylor. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. On the handoff, Taylor. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. He lost two, and it brings up four. Now back to throw. And he'll find Pittman. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Looking to throw. 
that'll be intercepted. Kyler Gordon picks it off, and the Bears are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, is going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal, and you throw the pick, not good at all. On second and inches, Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fields on target to Mooney, first down Chicago. Now it's Fields. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. The sack cost him only a yard at second and 11. Fields now to throw. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Quinny Pay now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Chicago. Darnell Mooney, 71 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away now from moving out in front. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh -oh, look out. And that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And this is going to be taken in by the Colts. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. They go to the ground again with Taylor. They find some open field here. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff. And when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't. But also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. And he'll get them inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Now a handoff. Taylor with it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Colts are able to move back in front. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line. 
because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Ebner going to elect to bring this out of the end zone here. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Now Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Field's going to hold on to it. And it's a fumble. And the Colts pick it up. And some room to work. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? Now, I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. At the 41-yard line. Here's Fields on the move to his left. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. On first down, Fields. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. And they'll get him to the ground, and he has another first down at the Colts' 19. 23 yards to pick up there. And the Bears, first down. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Back to throw, Fields. And for the third time, now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. 
Well, do you want to unpack that one, or do you want me to? <laughs> You're the boss. We get the interception, then really, he's just too loose with the football on the return, and he coughs it right back up the other way. I've seen this happen in an NFL game, and boy, did it cost someone. San Francisco at Atlanta a few seasons ago. Atlanta throws the interception. San Francisco runs it back. Game is salted away. Fumbles on the return. Atlanta gets it back. Drives down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Another try after the first down sack. Fields, that's complete to Mooney. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Throwing on third down, Fields. Now he's got it. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Fields. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bears get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. That was quite the call down around the goal line on fourth and goal. Yeah, they fake the run, pull it out, throw it. And as a defense, I've been in that spot before, and we see it all the time. You almost have to overcommit against the run. You have to almost sell out and say, they're going to run it, go make a play. They got pulled on that one. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So the lead is now dwindled to nine as the kick here is away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Foles. Got a man, it's complete to Jelani Woods. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Well, this time they'll just keep this on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. As the first half is winding down. And the Colts would extend their lead here just before halftime. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they may be given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again. And you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Ebner going to elect to bring this out of the end zone here. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Yeah. 
Second half ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. Fields it right around the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well, and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. Go, 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 go. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. From the 24, Foles. As this complete to Woods, and not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. And this looks like a roughing call. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the handoff, this is Taylor. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Foles. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Now we give to Taylor. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Excellent defensive play by Dominic Robinson, beating the line and dropping him for a loss. Now on second and 13, Foles. Oh, he'll want that one back, incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department, third down. Now Foles. Hard throw, incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Here we go, here we go. Thirteen, thirteen. They'll drop to throw. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Bears will get the football back. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Now a first down throw, Fields. He's got a man here, it's Montgomery. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 46. They'll try and run the option left side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Here's Fields. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. To throw his Fields. This one swung out to Montgomery. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. 
A shotgun snap, Fields. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And they're not gonna get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Back to throw. Fields. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. And this likely a must-have, third and goal. Operating from the gun, Fields. Yeah, he's got Moody in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. John L. Moody with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. So they get the conversion. And now we're back to a one-score game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Now, all of a sudden, we've got an interesting game here. You just saw them go down and score a touchdown. And what was a comfortable lead at halftime, it's down to a two-score game. And so the obvious thought is they've got to wrap things back up again. Got to get the offense into high gear. But we've seen this before. When you've kind of been in shutdown mode for a while, thinking that you're okay, it's hard to mash the gas again and have everything work perfectly. They've got to fast together a good drive right here and now. Because defensively, got to be feeling confident they haven't allowed a point this half. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 92 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Taylor. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Pass out left, caught by Woods. And he has the first down as he's able to reach the ball forward and get past the line to gain. Give him 11 yards.